Ew, big fish ish. Y'all know what it is, man. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. It's not all about money. It's not even close to being all about money. I used to feel that money should be prioritized because it's the thing that can impact everything else. You want better health, you used to say, okay, at least you can have some money to impact that health. Uh, you want protection, you can have some money to make sure that you're in an environment that's safe. But in all actuality, money ain't, Money ain't at the top. I was about to say money ain't even up there. And I... Hmm. Money ain't even up there. Money's not up there. And I had to just... I had to just send it to my group chat. <laughs> Y'all see, I had to apologize. Well, not apologize. I had to acknowledge that I was wrong for the longest. Been telling them... I remember arguing probably years ago. And it just occurred to me that... Money, when we put that on the top of the pedestal, although I used to think that it was encouraging me and inspiring me, and perhaps it was in some ways, but it wasn't leading me towards my purpose. Now, I can try to align the two to make sure that I can, you know, take the money that I'm making from over here and put it into my purpose, but in all actuality, what it did was it cost me time, energy, and investing in other things when I could have just been investing in my purpose, something that I'm extremely passionate about, and I would have made money in that way as well. And having some of the conversations that I've been having with some of my close friends and family, you know, talking to them about Miami, what we're building down here, the community, focused on purpose, purposeful abundance, elevating each other, growing, being fearless and pursuing our passions as it aligns with our purpose. I'm talking to them and some of the main reasons why they're saying, oh, I can't do that, I can't do this. It's all based around money and the fear that money has instilled in their minds. What am I talking about? It's like, hey, come down to Miami. Why? We're building a community. We're building a village. It's purposeful. It's going to be a support system. We're all coming together. All these different things, the camaraderie, all these things that we say that we love that would help increase our mental health, our overall health. And, and some of the first things that they bring up <laughs> are like, oh, well, what am I going to do for money? And I'm like, oh, I'm like, it ain't about the money. But... And that's what made me just think, like, yo, it's not about the money. And it's so easy for me to say that now because I no longer live in that fear of being controlled and doing things just because I'm scared that I can only make money in a particular way or just because I only currently know right now how to make money in a, in a particular way. It scared me into venturing off into other areas that were more aligned with my purpose and my passions so therefore I delayed a lot of things I'm very clear on what I'm here for I'm very clear on what I'm pursuing right now and that may change and that's cool things should change we should be open to that that's called growth but I will never be in a position where I'm scared or making decisions based on money and you may say like well that's easy for you to say you know now that you maybe have a position to where you're you know making some maybe maybe and I guess only time will tell but my energy right now is that I'm pursuing my purpose and I'm pursuing it passionately and if I am who I say I am then I will figure out a way to make sure that money comes along with that and if I really am who I say I am and who I believe I am and who I know I am then it'll come in abundance so 
I just wanted to send this message out in case, you know, people are having the same thoughts or have had the same thoughts because I will never allow money to rule me. I'm at my best when I'm living fearless and just doing something because it's the right thing, something because I'm passionate about it, something because it aligns with my purpose, not because it just brings me a dollar and I can buy certain things. That's not the energy that I'm on and that's not the impact that I want to make throughout society, throughout my family, throughout my village community, and whoever I come into contact with. I want to be an inspiration as to why you should be, you should be led by your principles. And your principles should determine your purpose and the impact that you want to make on the world. So just sharing y'all some thoughts that were going on in my head in this convo that I was having with God. And God finally convinced me, or maybe he probably already convinced me. Maybe I'm just realizing that I should share it with y'all because I haven't shared it with y'all yet. But nah, pursuing purpose, that's what's going to build the relationships that I want to build and grow the relationships that I want to grow and align me with the right people as far as my purpose is set. So just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm pursuing my purpose passionately and fearlessly. And the only way for me to pursue it fearlessly is to not allow money to be the determining factor in what decisions I make and where I live and what I'm doing and what I'm investing my time, effort, and energy in and money. So with that, uh, hope y'all received the message. Uh, let me know if you do. If you have some questions, hit me up. I'd love to, you know, have more of this conversation with y'all. 